So, two, two gang stalkers, I freaking missed. I missed them. So, it's um, 8.22 p.m. right now. So, I guess I got to wait for the last bus. The military, one of the military buses. I have to wait for the last bus. Um... So I missed another vehicle with funny headlights, and then there was a box car. Um, what do you call that? Um, cube. I think it was Scion Cube or something similar. That um, I think that's yeah. So um, I just tried to look at um Dick Sporting Goods. There's steel toe boots are Timberland and cost like one thirty $139 or something. So I, I'm like, wow, they got to be something that's cheaper. So um, I'm just looking around. Um, and there's a lone red gang stalking car right there. You see the rest of the parking lot over there is empty. They're weird and watch this. So um <clears throat> the the telephone scatologia perk kept trying to um each time I block him he gets another phone number to harass me. So um, another fake phone number to harass me. And I don't know who this is. And I don't know if it's one person. And look, he has a red bike. I don't know if it's one person or more than one person doing it. You know? Because I, I feel like with them using the phone to harass or trying to use their words to harass. Here's another perp. Um... I really, I'm wondering if they call themselves trying to put spells, on, witchcraft spells on me or something. I don't know. Or they're trying to enter into me spiritually. So I try to block every avenue of them trying to use harsh words to act like they want to try to drive me to suicide. So I try to protect my mental health and try to block and avoid them. This is that same car, I think. I don't know if it's that same gang stalking car. Like, why the hell y'all back? Yeah, because it's uh, that couple. Five six five zero XQ, Florida. I'm surprised they didn't run away this time. So, Florida license plate 5650XQ. But I'm not allowed to have a car at all. Even other professed targeted individuals don't want me with a car. And then they blame it on God. Don't do that to me. It really seemed like more and more people were selling out. And some of them, the biggest sellout, come on man, idiots. The biggest sellouts are the ones who walk around pretending that they're righteous and pretending that they never sold out. 
they pretend that they're righteous and they pretend that they never sold out. Those are the biggest ones. And that's a doggone shame. The thing is so loud. And look how far it away is. It's that loud. A modified satanic vehicle that needs to be destroyed. So yeah, um, the telephone scatologia perp um, tried to call me from um, tried to call me from like three or four different phone numbers just now and also tried to call me at 2.30 in the morning. Like, you really think I'm going to answer your phone call at 2.30 in the morning just for you to make sex noises? What the hell? Caught me off guard. With those keys and stuff, or a chain or whatever, I almost thought that was a dog. So, I gotta pee. Guess what? I always hear stories about these people who have jobs. They're always looking for excuses to call in and avoid work but they could still keep their jobs. I was legitimately sick. And the one time I was sick as a dog and asked to take off from work from Seville Quarter and they threatened to fire me and try to say, well, Mr. Cliff, that Cliff guy threatened to fire me and say, well, I'm gonna assume you've abandoned the job when I was really sick. But they had people who just call in sick from work for nothing just taking advantage and they can still keep their jobs. So, um, I might have to be forced to sleep near that lady. Um, I hope she won't be there tonight, but I might have to be forced to sleep near her in order to stay safe out of the rain and it won't be safe because I don't know if she's going to kill me, if she's going to hurt me, she's going to put her hands on me. What's she going to do to me? So um, I don't know what she would do. And they got stuff biting me on my legs. Yeah, so I might have to be forced to stay downtown tomorrow. And for me, I don't even panhandle or ask for money or ask for help every single day, only when I need to. But I'm gonna have to for the rest of the month if I don't get that job or, or if the job don't work out. Which I really don't, I really don't think that job is a good fit for me for several reasons, but I'm gonna try it out anyway. And they're freaking smoking. So, um, and look how they put wait till I get nearby to pull out this SUV. Oh, wow. It's nighttime and you don't have your t tail lights on.
نأسي Now, see, that's only the brake lights, but you see no tail lights. And you see all kinds of gang stalking, illegal driving, but I'm not allowed to have a car at all. See, he gets out near me. And they're bright, got bright lights. So, yeah, I know the Academy is definitely cheaper. And I heard that they might have some steel toe boots at fake Walmart too. So I gotta check that out. And this car has strange tail lights. I'm not ignoring shit until you gang stalkers give me my life back. So it looks like I ain't gonna get my life back. So I'm gonna keep on recording everything y'all doing to me. And people wanna force me to shut up and ignore. Like, can't nobody really be trusted? And then the people who give you the advice to trust no one, they, they be the first to do you dirty. Yeah, I feel so gross not being able to take a bath. And I'm going to say it again, being menstruating and not being able to, I mean, we've got to be forced to be out there on the streets without being able to get to take a bath or a shower. Thanks for y'all few who, who did help whatever you could. I, I appreciate if you could, you know, I would appreciate the help y'all gave me. So, I had chicken, potatoes, and cabbage. See, look, these gang stalkers, you see how they wait till I walk near? And, and both of them were two red vehicles. See, they're all, all these gang stalkers on standby. How come they have a right to make money? You're making money off of me. And professed target individuals, y'all ought to be shit. Y'all ought to be ashamed of yourselves. Shut the fuck up, you stupid retarded fake radio. They're still blaring loud satanic fake music when the mall is closed. After the mall is closed, you're still blasting out music. I don't care about your fake song about being next to somebody. Go to hell. Oh, excuse me. No, thanks. Sorry. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to do that kid like that. I'm just freaking so agitated right now, you know.
And what time is it now? 8.37. And look, you come, and you got tinted windows on that raggedy ass dirty truck. Yeah, it's so hard out here. And people make it like it's my own fault I failed in life when actually the gang stalkers ruined my life. And I hate when you say that you had a, a hold on man, more satanic fake loud music. Hey, YouTube, you be, don't give me no fucking copyright claim. This is against my will. They're blasting loud music against my consent. Another perp on a red bike. And my stomach hurts. Speaking of music, is there any way you can, do they have any like Android apps where you could create your own instrumental music? Like say if you, they have like an app where you can use like a keyboard type thing. Um, like as if you're playing a keyboard, but not physically playing a keyboard, but you know, using the app on your, on your phone that will have the summer similar functions. Another gang stalking vehicle. So. It seems like you're not allowed to stand up to the gang stalkers or else you're the troublemaker. Or you end up in more trouble by the, you know, tyrant, abusive tyrant bullies. So how much space is used? 90% phone battery. I needed it at 100. And look, it looked like the gang stalking car is pulling away as I get closer. It's that heavy gang stalking activity. But y'all wanna call me fake. These bastards making themselves obvious. And you still call me a fake and falsely accuse me of, you know, scamming. And, and you, so I want to make something clear. The person who calls himself fake TI perp, who's actually a perp perp and not a fake TI perp, um, mocking me calling. Look, two identical white Teslas. Um, so, a regular perp that has an account called Fake TI Perp that mocks me, that's not the same person as Queen of the South. Queen of the South recently started harassing me after the stuff with fake ass Trisha. Like, and Trisha need to stop pretending like she wants to preach the word of God, but then perping and harassing and trying to set people up and stuff like that. And I've been getting those kinds of people lately. I don't trust, you can't even trust people who say that they're Christian. You can't trust them no more. You can't trust them these days because they pretend to be Christian just to bait and pretend to be righteous just to bait you in and then lure you 
and it could kill you. So Lisa Ruby, and then dealing with Trisha, I can't, I'm not accepting any more offers to go live with nobody. And Chris, profess Christian or not. And the ones who do this, they, they're narcissistic abusers. But Trisha's a whole fucking psychopath. Patricia Jerome. And then look, me talking about it, there's a car that looked like hers, except Trisha's is red. And I used to have an older model. You know, it was kind of new back then. Hyundai Elantra was a black one. And the fake foster mom, she sabotaged my car. See, look, two white vehicles. Hold on, man. Wow. These, they have these complicated newer vehicles that are computerized. Both of these cars are white Honda. And then both of these are two red Nissans. And two more white vehicles over there. Excuse me. Yeah, the, the twin white Teslas.